Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you want to know what are the top 5 upcoming mega projects in the capital city of Maharashtra, Mumbai, what is the latest status of all the mega projects and cost of it, then watch this video till the end as I unfold the infra status of the nation's most financially strong city. But before we proceed, I would request you to please like, share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon positively to remain updated about various infra projects. Mumbai is also known as Bombay, the official name until 1995 is the capital city of the Indian state of Maharashtra. According to the United Nations, as of 2018, Mumbai is the second most populous city in the country after Delhi and the seventh most populous city in the world with a population of roughly 20 million. The city houses important financial institutions and the corporate headquarters of numerous Indian companies and multinational corporations. It is also home to some of India's premier scientific and nuclear institutes. The city is also home to Bollywood and Marathi cinema industries. Mumbai's business opportunities attract migrants from all over India. Although Mumbai had prominently figured as the hub of economic activity of India in the 1990s, the Mumbai metropolitan region is presently witnessing a reduction in its contribution to India's GDP. The key sectors contributing to the city's economy are finance, gems and jewellery, leather processing, IT and IT-enabled services, textiles, petrochemical, electronics, manufacturing, automobiles and entertainment. Nariman Point and Bandra Kulla Complex are Mumbai's major financial centres. Despite competition from Bangalore, Hyderabad and Pune, Mumbai has carved a niche for itself in the information technology industry. Having understood various important things about the city of Mumbai, let us tap into the top 5 biggest mega projects coming up in this city of Mumbai. We'll be moving in the descending order depending on the nature of the mega project. Fifth up is the Mega Mumbai Metro project. While only one section of Mumbai Metro has already started functioning successfully, but there are various sections which are under various stages of construction in the city of Mumbai. Mumbai Metro with 10 lines is an urban mass rapid transit system being built to serve Mumbai, Maharashtra's capital and largest city. Its development has been entrusted to the Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority who in 2004 came out with a 146.5 km master plan with multiple lines. Due to various issues which range from policy paralysis to environmental issues, the MMRDA has so far only been able to develop one metro line in the suburbs connecting Varsova Andheri East to Ghatkopar. In 2015, a new 118 km master plan was approved and the then incumbent government provided much needed impetus for the development of two lines, Dasiyar East Andheri East Red Line and Dasiyar East DN Nagar Yellow Line in addition to the Cafe Parade BKC RA Colony Aqua Line. In June 2019, a new nodal agency called Maha Mumbai Metro Operations Corporation was established for operating and maintaining all Mumbai Metro services on lines owned by MMRD. In September 2019, the MMRDA unveiled a new 337km master plan for Maha Mumbai Metro's network consisting of 10 lines. The Delhi Metro Rail Corporation has lent its services as the interim general consultant for the execution of most lines. The Yellow Line 2 of the Mumbai Metro is an under-construction metro line in the city of Mumbai connecting Dasihar in the northwest with Mandalay and Manikurd in the east. While only 11.1 4 km is operational, 169.061 km is under construction. Interestingly, 21.289 km has been approved and 136.4 km has been proposed. Moving to the fourth mega project is the Mumbai Trans Harbour Link. The proposed Mumbai Trans Harbour Link has been planned to facilitate decongestion of the island city by improving connectivity between island city and mainland, that is Navi Mumbai, and development of Navi Mumbai region. The link was envisaged about 35 years back. Earlier, three attempts in the year 2006, 2007 and 2013 by the government and authorities to take up the project in various modes including PPP and EPC did not succeed. 
policy. Government of Maharashtra decided that the project will be owned and implemented by Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority. Accordingly, the Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority has undertaken the implementation of the Mumbai Trans Harbour Link project, connecting Seori on Mumbai side to Chorle on Navi Mumbai side. This important link, having length of about 21.8 km, is being implemented considering the importance of connectivity between the island city and the mainland. On completion of this project, the commuters travelling from Mumbai towards Navi Mumbai, Navi Mumbai International Airport, Jawaharlal Nehru Port, Panvel, Alibog, Pune and Goa will not only be saving travel time but will also save in terms of fuel. This will also alleviate the traffic congestion in the island city and facilitate development of Navi Mumbai area. It has been decided to implement the project on EPC model with official development loan assistance from JICA which stands for Japanese International Cooperation Agency. The project is expected to be finished by the end of 2023. Third in this list is the Mumbai Eastern Waterfront. A 966.3 hectare waterfront is being transformed into a sea transport and tourism hub as a part of what is currently considered to be Mumbai city's most ambitious and biggest ongoing project, the Mumbai Eastern Waterfront. Spanning about 10 kilometers, the Mumbai Port Trust area along the Eastern Waterfront is considered to be among the most beautiful waterfront properties in the heart of the city. About 500 hectare of this property is available for redevelopment, 253 hectare of of which is up for redevelopment. Of this area, 193 hectare will see roads, gardens, recreational areas and open spaces. The plan is to build a high-tech city on the remaining 60 hectare that is expected to generate employment for about 3.4 lakh people. The plan is also to have an arcade for commercial and residential purposes and one which people can also walk through. The master plan for the Mumbai Port Complex has been proposed with the objective of repurposing the port land as well as of integrating it with the rest of the city, providing public spaces and facilities to the citizens. Having said that, redevelopment of Mumbai's eastern waterfront is expected to make way for 62% of open space. Residents will reportedly have direct access to the open public spaces which will come up on 26% of the land while about 36% of the plot will be used for streets. The second spot has been taken by the Virar Alibog Multi-Model Corridor. The Maharashtra Coastal Zone Management Authority has cleared a part of the Virar Alibog Multi-Model Corridor project in its meeting held on June 2021. This section will act as a link between Severi Neva Trans Harbour Link, National Highways 4B, National Highway 17, also called as Mumbai Goa Highway, and Mumbai Pune Expressways. The section will have a 835 meter long tunnel, 5 major bridges, 3 minor bridges, 1 road over bridge, 2 overpasses, 6 flyovers, 3 vehicular underpasses and 550 meters of elevated road. It will have an access control highway, metro services and a bus rapid transit system. The multimodal corridor will be a crucial step towards development and will create job opportunities in 7 growing centers in MMR such as Virar, Bhivandi, Kalyan. Dombivali, Panvel, Taloja and Uran. The corridor will also be useful for the development of Navi Mumbai International Airport, JNPT Port, Mumbai Trans Harbour Link and dedicated freight corridor as well. This corridor will carry all the traffic from JNPT towards Navi Mumbai and Thane outside the city and will help reduce traffic congestion within the city. The travel time between Virar and Alibog will also be reduced by 50%. The first position has been taken by the JNPT redevelopment. The PM Gati Shakti National Master Plan for Multimodal Infrastructure Connectivity to Economic Zone aims to enable efficient connectivity for the flow of products and people while also improving the comfort of living and doing business. The plan aims to boost Indian infrastructure and multimodal connectivity over the next 25 years and reduce logistics cost for improved global competitiveness. Multimodal connectivity results in high environmental sustainability with the development of new model and intermodal infrastructure and hinterlands which have gained success to the global market. Compelling multimodal transport, compelling multimodal transportation at JNPT not only provides manufacturers faster access to domestic and international markets but also has a multiplier effect on the economy too. 
It will ensure that infrastructure investments flowing to the country are better utilized by the economic hubs and open the doors for new future economic zones. Multimodal transport system at the port has integrated different geographical scales from global to local by creating a transportation system composed of gateways and hubs where regional and local transportation networks converge. JNPT has created a vibrant and efficient multimodal system integrating roads, rail, sea, inland waterways, air and warehousing facilities. With this, we have come to the end of this video. It is for sure that if these mega projects are grounded before time, it is all set to change the face of the financial capital of India. Moreover, it will also address the general concerns of citizens of Mumbai. Therefore, I would request you to please like, share and subscribe the channel to remain updated about various mega projects coming across the nation. Also, if you want to watch the mega projects of Maharashtra, then click on the i button positively. Also, coming up next is the mega projects in the city of Nagpur of Maharashtra. Do tune in to watch it. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Jai Hind.